morning or good afternoon. Uh, uh, my name is Jinan Fiadi. I'm from Lakehead University, Ontario, Canada. And I would like to thank uh, Professor uh, Taihoun for his nice invitation to this international conference uh, uh, on, uh, on uh, cutting edge research, uh, which will be uh, July 1st to 3rd, uh, 2022. Uh, more introduction to myself, I'm the chair of the special interest group on big data for e-health with IEEE Comsoc. Also, I'm the uh, graduate uh, coordinator for the biotechnology PhD program. And uh, uh, I do research on collaborative learning, thick data, and uh, uh, AI uh, for the last uh, more than 10 years. Uh, the uh, presentation or the uh, research that I'm going to present uh, for today is uh, under the title of uh, Endoscopy Clinical Diagnosis Using Thick Data Analysis. Uh, also, uh, one of my collaborators beside Dr. Sabah Mohamed, uh, the other collaborator is Dr. Petros Zizos. He's a medical doctor uh, in Thunder Bay Regional Health Science Center. Uh, this research is in collaboration with both of them. And in this research, the, or the research uh, has been ignited by a lot of physicians' requests, like Dr. Zizos, in order to reduce their uh, workload as they are burned viewing multi-thousands of video frames after each endoscopic intervention. Identifying a colon problem like ulcerative colitis requires a lot of focus to find the ulcerative inflammation areas at the colon. The issue with that we cannot ignore uh, ulcerative colitis identification accurately because of the complications of this condition it can be devastating, including, uh, for example, severe bleeding, a rapidly swelling colon, colon uh, increase risk of colon cancer, uh, bone loss, and so on. So uh, the management of this disease, the UC, is depending on its severity. So the main objective is to uh, measure the severity of the uh, UC or ulcerative colitis, which in turn is based on the severity of the clinical symptoms, mainly the frequency and severity of bloody uh, diarrhea and the severity of the endoscopic finding, including edema and ulceration. So knowing the severity of the UC will let the physician to specify the type of the treatment, like medication if the uh, patient is in need to it or uh, the patient needs to, do, to go under a surgical management. That can be done only through endoscopic examination, endoscopic examination, in order to know the severity of the uh, disease. Uh, so the question or the research objective that we are going to talk about and try to solve it is how do we measure the score of the severity? Uh, the score of the severity, there are different types of scores. There is a score which is zero. Uh, it means that the patient does not have any uh, critical uh, symptoms. Uh, the uh, score, if it is one, uh, uh, which is the most, uh, which is uh, uh, reflects some other type of uh, 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 symptoms. But, uh, uh, and there are actually uh, many controversial methods, including uh, a myoclinic endoscopy score, which is MES. This one is the most commonly used in clinical practice, as well as in clinical trials. Beside others, like beside, for example, uh, a Baron score, beside Max score, Blackstone index, and so on. So even if we ignore other techniques and focus only on the Mayo Clinic uh, endoscopy score, still we will need to understand how can we 
do scoring automatically based on AI and ML because looking at the frames by the physician definitely he will be able to say what's the type of the ulcerative colitis but our problem is how to do it when we are using definitely automatic uh, solution based on uh, the artificial intelligence and machine learning. As I mentioned, the, the scores are different. For example, this is zero, which means normal. This is one, uh, it means uh, the disease is mild. And then this is two, which is there are some other symptoms. And the most th one, which is the myoclinic uh, endoscopy score, which is three, it means it is severe disease i.e. there is bleeding and diffuse ulceration so this figure illustrates the grades uh, of the myoclinic endoscopy uh, severity in colon images uh, this uh, so in, in all but for the endoscopy there are different forms for the endoscopy when we are coming to use the endoscopy there is optical endoscopy there is virtual endoscopy there is colon capsule endoscopy which is considered as the golden standard for detecting various various colon anomalies including like for example polyps like this one ulceration colitis and collateral cancer also, it has been definitely recommended as a regular screening test for a group of patients who encounter no symptoms related to their colon for early but for early detection and prevention of, of cancer as many anomalies like those polyps are likely to develop cancer later on. However, those different type of colonoscopy is proving very large, is providing actually very large number of frames, like for example, this one 10,000 and 50,000, which is uh, very difficult for the specialist to detect different type uh, uh, or different or give a score, score for, for the ulcerative colitis. Also, research shows that the UC severity scoring accuracy actually depends on the experience of the examining uh, physician or on the type of colonoscopy device used. Uh, for example, there is high definition and there is normal definition volumes, uh, videos. So, however, even if uh, we increase the definition or high definition uh, colonoscopy devices, still the improvement is marginal. Uh, uh, in or, and now, in order to minimize the effect of physical experience, physician experience, most of the research body currently is pointing to the importance of using more computer-aided software, including artificial intelligence, machine learning, for validating the in endoscopic assessment of UC, as well as for predicting patterns that may be missed by the evaluator. So, so using uh, uh, in this direction, we use deep learning convolutional neural network, which has made significant success in the area of medical image analysis, and in particular in the area of colonoscopy, mainly identifying polyps with high accuracy but not UC ulcerative colitis. So, uh, and more moreover, neural network in general are sensitive to the availability of large representative training sample. But when there is no large training sample, here it comes the problem. That's why machine learning, including deep learning, cannot effectively result in reliable and robust accuracy in classifying medical images unless the neural nets is trained on extremely large annotated sample, which is the big data. Uh, uh, but with many medical practices, like the inflammatory bowel disease, the annotated training data is relatively small, requiring more additive techniques to predict important indicators uh, like identifying acute ulcerative colitis region of interest. So what do we need? We need actually in the medical world, not only the quantitative approach based on ma machine learning and big data, we will need other techniques like in here, the physical uh, heuristic, the qualitative techniques, and we need to use uh, the explainable artificial intelligence, XAI, 
uh, approach to provide clues to the reasoning of the deep learning convolutional neural network and on why specific frames have been segment segmented uh, with particular score of ulcerative uh, uh, colitis. So we need explanation not only to uh, uh, measure the score. And this is a paper which I presented in an uh, article uh, which is presented in the uh, IEEE Big Data 2022 on using thick data for rating UC based on small uh, uh, samples. Uh, now, although uh, thick data filters will help the neural network to achieve higher accuracy, but remain short and pro provide explanation on the way this neural net may achieve their decision. So in this direction, we actually used three heuristic injection method to be augmented to the neural net designed to provide some level of explanation or explainability, including adding the uh, uh, rationalizing uh, techniques, improving semantic uh, uh, association, and as well as uh, generating visual explanations such as uh, uh, captioning. Uh, so this figure actually illustrates those three suggested neural network, uh, and in this direction we are going to investigate how adding captioning heuristic uh, may enhance the explainability of deep learning model using uh, used for the ulcerative uh, colitis scoring. In this direction, this is the model which may, uh, uh, you are seeing in here. Uh, it uses few Im few images sample to classify frames using the CMEs neural network. This model then passes the uh, categories as generated by the CMEs to train the LSTM model which will generate suggested description and caption to the originally provided video. This is more details uh, representing the explainable thick data video colonoscopy. Uh, the data set that we used in this direction is uh, taken from uh, 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 Norway and has been uh, annotated by uh, uh, experts. Uh, also, uh, the Siamese net neural network definitely is a kind of neural network that can learn from one shot or few shots. It's uh, generated. It's generally actually useful for learning when no training sample is available, as the legacy convolutional neural network would not be able to learn the features required with the given small amount of uh, of data. Uh, I did uh, already explain the CMEs neural network. So this is again uh, what we needed in the CMEs neural network uh, is to uh, take the uh, 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 we used actually t a triple ranking uh, loss algorithm, uh, a triple ranking loss algorithm. Uh, uh, it's, it helps in giving explanation which uh, we actually took an anchor and compared it with the positive uh, image and negative image. And this is the data set. Uh, this is the code that we used in order to uh, uh, find the explainable uh, uh, score for the ulcerative colitis. And uh, in this way, we decided to use the TensorFlow and Keras Deep Learning API, and we continued the process. This is the CMEs neural network. is a sequential one, actually, that has uh, 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 this uh, structure that you are seeing in here. Uh, so, uh, and those, uh, we use different layers, uh, which is followed by the computing, uh, uh, the uh, induced uh, distance matrix between each CMEs with the frames. And uh, uh, those are more details about the implementation and the accuracy that we reached. Uh, and then as a conclusion, we, the prediction accuracy is actually was around 70%. And as a conclusion, this is the way we treated uh, how to reach the uh, score of the ulcerative colitis using machine learning and AI. 
uh, and uh, we reached a good uh, n uh, uh, amount of prediction but we are continuing to ha to work on uh, uh, improving the accuracy and thank you in listening and uh, if you have any more questions so thank you